a family watching television in the evening. That's a scene common to millions of homes in India. Obviously, this prime time is the most sought after duration by advertisers. Let's think of two well known cell phone brands. Let's call them Phone 1 and Phone 2. Let's say Phone 1 is already advertising on a prime time GC show. Will it be a good idea for Phone 2 to advertise on another GC at the same time? Are popularity and brand fit of the program the only criteria or are there other risks too? How will the Phone 2 brand team take a call? By gut feel? Or is there a scientific basis to think in such a situation? Enter Behavioural Science a science that helps us understand the emotional, social, cognitive and psychological factors that influence the consumer's decisions. Bounded rationality, a behavioural science theory suggests that irrespective of brand fit, it may or may not be a good idea for Phone 2 to reach out to consumers at the same time when Phone 1 is already reaching. But why? According to the theory, when the consumer gets multiple signals at the same time, his ability to process them reduces. Sounds logical actually. According to this theory, Phone 2 brand team can derive that the consumer's reception to its brand message will actually depend on its competitive position. If Phone 1 is a leader brand and Phone 2 is also a leader brand, brand saliency of both will reduce. If Phone 1 is a leader and Phone 2 is a challenger, Phone 2 will actually get hurt and Phone 1 will actually benefit. If Phone 1 is a challenger and Phone 2 is the leader, Phone 2 will benefit and Phone 1 saliency will go down. And if Phone 1 and Phone 2 are both challengers, again, brand saliency of both will reduce. Is it that rational? After all, the consumer takes his decision on emotional, social, cognitive and psychological factors, right? Can we test this hypothesis experimentally? In a famous experiment, the psychologists Mark Lepper and Sheena Iyengar observed consumer choice in two situations. One, where consumers were given 24 brands of jams to choose from and in another, where they were given only 8 brands. The latter group was found to be more likely to make a purchase compared to the first group. In another experiment, housewives were given 4, 8, 12 and 16 brands to choose from with 4, 8, 12 and 16 bits of information per brand. The study showed that people have limited information processing ability and too much information overload can actually lead to poorer choices. Exactly this way, the Phone 2 team can actually test the hypothesis with controlled behavioural science experiments. So, will the Phone 2 brand team understand the consumer by gut feel or do they have a scientific basis to think? That's the value of behavioural science. It gives the marketer a framework to think and methods of experimental validation of hypothesis all based on a highly developed science.